Hi guys, today is what? December 7th. It's a bit dark and we are all here in the car on our way to church. Say hi. 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 That is here as well there in the back. So, on church better. Oh. Yes, so we are on our way to church. We're going to Maraca St. Joseph the Church at USC. Yes, so we um, we are going to church this morning. I really love how green everything looks. I understand that we have a terrible drought season ahead. So we have to really conserve water and do what we can to save it. But anyways, I'm not sure if I will be vlogging in church. But we will check in with you guys again. Granted, 
for we, 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 we place them before you this morning and with open hearts of love we ask that you would accept our praises and our adoration this morning father I believe that there are many persons at the altar who walked not that they didn't have the faith you could have reached them where they are but they came in faith moving expecting a miracle I pray for such an individual here this morning reach out at the altar and touch touch a life here this morning somebody who's sick emotionally somebody who's sick physically whatever the situation be at the altar you know father visit us one by one place a testimony here this morning on the heart of an individual who is seeking for deliverance and when you would have come through i pray that this individual would shout a mighty shout that god came through this morning there are others who are in their seats but the faith is still being exercised they are looking for that miracle a mother is crying a father have been praying for a daughter a son Whatever the needs be in this congregation, meet us one by one. Touch us one by one. And Father, today, for adventure, there'll be somebody here who came despondent, depressed, about to give up on life. We call upon your name on behalf of such an individual. Come down, Father. And may your Holy Spirit rain blessings upon such an individual. May that still small voice speak positivity in the life of such an individual. May that still small voice bring comfort and cheer and hope to such an individual. This morning we are here to commune with each other. What an awesome privilege we have to ponder upon grief, upon your sacrifice, to ponder upon Calvary, to ponder upon that which you went through, the anguish, the pain that you endure on behalf of us. We ask that our sitting here will not be in vain, but that as we commune and we partake, even that which symbolizes your body and your blood, will wrought miracles in our lives this morning. Thank you for what will happen here. We count the miracles in advance. We count it there and we claim it in the name of Jesus. Bless your man servant who's going to speak to us words of cheer and comfort. Pastor Daniel by name, anoint him afresh. Fall afresh on him so that as he opens his mouth, the broken hearted will be mended. Those who are thirsty, their souls will be, will be quenched. Place words of power upon his, upon his lips this morning so that as we listen to him, heaven, the storeroom would be open and the blessings would just fall afresh on us. And now, Father, we commit this service into your hand. Bless everyone who will partake and all who have the privilege of serving. Anoint this place afresh. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let God's people say, Amen. Amen. The Passover, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when the year entered into the city, there shall, he, there shall be a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entered in. And he shall say unto the good man of the house, the owner of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished yeah, make it ready. 
And so the disciples were for you. There's a place in that kingdom for you. There's a place for all of us. Let us not lose our place. Sometimes we become discouraged along the way because of people around us, because of whatever. But you know the Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But then he says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Sometimes we find iniquity in very unexpected places. Sometimes we find iniquity in an unexpected persons. But let no one steal your crown, cause your joy to go dim. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. And we celebrate therefore today. We have the emblems, the bread and the wine. Yes. Let those fulfill their purpose now. But more than that, may we be encouraged. So when Jesus celebrates with us in his kingdom, we'll all be there. May God bless all of us. Until then.